Hello everyone. Today I would like to share how to create a dependent drop-down list on an Excel user form. I have two combo boxes, combo box 1 and combo box 2. My intention is to assign a physiotherapist based on the gender of the patient. To do so, I need to write a macro. First, double-click on the user form. Use the activate event and delete the unwanted event if necessary. To add gender, use the with statement to reference combo box 1. Use dot add item to add an item. For gender, I will need female and male. Use one dot add item per item. Then, end the statement with end with. Since the list on combo box 2 depends on the selection made in combo box 1, we can double click on combo box 1 to write the code. Use the change event. If the list is long, it is more convenient to reference a table than type all the items manually. Let's create tables first. Go back to the spreadsheet. It is important to create separate tables for different groups. Select the cells for female, then press Ctrl T. Ensure the option My Table Has Headers is checked and click on OK. Rename the table according to the header, female. Repeat these steps to create a table for males. Now, go back to the Visual Basic Editor. Set a variable, let's call it LO, to reference the list on Sheet 1. Take note that Excel tables are known as list objects, and the name of the table should follow the selection made in combo box 1. We need the text. Then, use a for loop with variable i to iterate from the first item to the last one. Use list rows.count property to determine the number of items we have. Next, call combo box 2 to add items where the item is the current row data. Remember to convert row data to a range to avoid a type mismatch error. After finishing one item, continue to the next. Let's check the result. First, select a gender, and you should see the corresponding list of physiotherapists. However, when we change the gender, the corresponding list is appended to, but it does not overwrite the existing list. To overcome this issue, we should clear the list of combo box 2 before adding new items. Let's check the output again. Select a gender, and you should see the corresponding list of physiotherapists. When I change the gender, the list of physiotherapists will be updated automatically. On the other hand, if we want to validate the details, we might want to add some code, since users can type a name that is not from the correct list. Go back to the Visual Basic Editor. I would like to write the code in this command button. This time we should define a variable, let's call it LO as a variant, and let it be the list object. Also, the name should follow combo box 1. Instead of using the Excel table as a list object, I would rather convert it to an array by referring to data body range. All I need is values. Next, use an if statement to set a condition. We can use the inString function to check if a name is found in the given list. Use join function to join up all names. We need transpose function to change the format of the array that can be used by the join function. Combo box 2 is the name that we are looking for. If inString returns 0, then the physiotherapist is not found from the correct list. We can list a message box to alert the user. Then, exit this sub. Use else for otherwise, I'm going to close this user form by using unload me and leave a message if necessary. End the if statement with an end if, and the coding part is now done. Let's make a final check. If I select a gender with the correct physiotherapist, when I click on confirm, the user form is closed, and the details are validated. However, if I type a name that does not match with the gender, my confirmation should be rejected as we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. I wish you a wonderful day, and this is Ah Singh.